The Books of Babel, aka Senlin, ascends. A guy takes his wife on honeymoon, and she gets kidnapped and taken away to this tower, the Tower of Babel, and he tries to ascend the tower and find his wife. Every level of the tower is something crazy and something different, and every single tower, you, a level you go up, is an entirely different world. This tower is huge. The entire, every level is its own city, like, which are probably miles wider. Each level is huge. The tower itself is huge. And it's all about exploring this tower, getting to the, the, the certain levels, and to send them to find his wife. Good. I love the evolution of the science throughout when you go through the tower because this is it is one basically one big machine, and there's different technologies and different societies if you go to each one. The world building and the tower itself was the absolute best character to me. It was fantastic to discover more. I just wanted to keep discovering more about the tower. Some of the characters that didn't work, as I mentioned, I didn't really care about the main character Senlin. He was just kind of like meh to me, and that might put people people off of it if they don't really fall into liking Senlin or the main people. Then you might just not care enough. The ending is going to be very divisive. Kind of a surprise ending and a lot going on and happening and the romance is also kind of divisive about it but it wasn't distracting so if you really want a good good story with awesome world building and a, a world to just discover and escape into this is a really good one too